Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's a weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. Saturday, March 23rd, is Cuddly Kitten Day. Aww. Aww. It is uh, National Chia Day, National Chip and Dip Day, National Melba Toast Day. That's the tiny little cute pieces of toast, right? Is that what Melba yes, toast? Yes, it is. Yep. So you make little tiny sandwiches with that, or what do you do with those things? I don't know. I've never <laughs> little really finger known. sandwiches, there maybe. There we go. National Near Miss Day, National Puppy Day. Aww. Aww. Kitten Day and Puppy Day on the same day. Can it be true? World Meteorological Day. Um, OK Day, National Tamale Day, all that. And then uh, Sunday, the 24th, Day of Remembrance for Truth and Justice, International Day for Achievers, National Cheese Steak Day, National Chocolate Covered Raisins Day, Heidi's favorite, National Cocktail Day. All of those things happening this weekend. It's a busy weekend, man. I didn't even get to everything on the list. Huge thank you to listofnationaldays.com. I've got a guest joining me today as well. Uh, Really cool dude. Aaron Michael Grant. He's a military man, and he has a book called Taking Baghdad. We're going to chat with him all about that coming up. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. You know when you get your bill after eating at a restaurant, the server sometimes writes a little thank you on the bottom? Yeah. Maybe puts a smiley face. i got a feeling you're going to see that more often. You want to know why? Why? Because according to research from the International Journal of Hospitality Management, that typically boosts the tip by about 30%. Yeah, they did all kinds of different tests. Full-service restaurant experienced a tip average increase of 2%. Okay, I'm sorry, 2%. What? It says up here 30%. Anyway, uh, with the presence of emojis on the payment. So if they've got a little oh, smiley, a smiley face yeah. or something. Food delivery app saw a jump of 9.9%. The most significant, though, was takeout services. They saw the tip skyrocket by 30%. Ah, oh, see? That's where all those different numbers come from. Experts say that just like being smiled at by an actual person, virtual smiles activate a region of your brain closely associated with facial perceptions. Aww. You're going to see some emojis is what I'm saying. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that there's a company that analyzes canine DNA? They identified a woman as 40% Alaskan Malamute. Says, DNA My Dog claims to provide customers with the highest possible accuracy in determining a dog's breed uh, based on a cheek swab. Well, to investigate, they decided to put DNA My Dog to, to the test. Instead of sending a cheek swab from the dog, they submitted DNA from the cheek of the reporter, Christina. Two different companies, Oravet and Wisdom Panel, found that the DNA could not yield a reliable result. But DNA My Dog determined that this dog is 40% Alaskan Malamute, 35% Sharpe, and 25% Labrador. So the reporter is whose saliva was on the swab. Oh yeah. Kind of makes you wonder if they're just making stuff up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen brought to you by insurancechicken.com. It's the weekend. A lot of folks get to the movies. Last weekend, Kung Fu Panda 4 did really well. Dune Part 2 did really well. They both just 
barely came out ahead of Arthur the King, which is Mark Wahlberg's new movie. I thought it was really I've funny. i heard about that. Yeah, Heidi, <laughs> Heidi's mom said, so-and-so went to the new movie with Mark Wahlberg. And Heidi's like, how do they know Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> yeah, I still laugh at that. That's so funny. Uh, there may be more Dune in Jason Momoa's future. The actor has teased a potential return to go maybe for Dune 3. So I guess uh, if that movie does well and it's doing well, there might be another installment, and he might be a part of it. So that's all we know so far. There's a lot of mites in that sentence. Jeremy Renner says Robert Downey Jr. kept his spirits up while he was recovering. Do you remember the snowplow accident last year, 2023? I do. He said that uh, Robert Downey Jr. would do FaceTime calls, and he says it's like we were dating or something. So he kept calling him. He's like, you okay? Everything good? Come on, you're awesome. Stay awesome. So I think that's really cool. Robert Downey Jr. calling to give him a pep talk. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a mint intervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Facebook estimates that 5% of their users are fake. 5%. Wow. I estimate it's higher than that because I see... I all see the a time. lot of scam. Oh, I think it's way higher than. And 5%. I, I look at these things. I'm like, how can Facebook not tell this yeah, is fake? Exactly. I can tell instantly it's fake. So, and before you share any of the posts where they're like, oh, this dog got hit by a car and it's been three days and nobody's. Those are all fake. I mean, the, every once in a while, there's one that's real, but that is and so. And I think that's rare. really sad because there are people who lose their dogs. I know. And, and yeah. what they've done is they found ways to get people to share these things. And everybody's got a kind heart, and they're like, "Oh, I hope them. I want to help. I hope somebody finds it." Yeah. And you share it, and it turns into a different post. They change it, and then they steal your friend's identity because they're like, "Oh, hey, look, Heidi is the one that shared this. Heidi is not an idiot. She wouldn't have shared it if it was bad." So just be careful. Don't always assume I'm not an idiot. Well, anyway. I assume that because I'm married to him. a 100 <laughs> year old World War II veteran is planning to marry his 96 year old girlfriend. Oh, how cute oh, no. is that? That is very cute. And then I've been saving this. We like to do this during the weekend program. Would you rather? So Heidi, would you rather have bad breath or would you rather have smelly feet? Smelly feet because okay. you can cover those. There you go. Would you rather have a hamster-sized dog or a dog-sized hamster? <laughs> we a hamster-sized dog. We almost have that. Would you rather live forever with an eyelash in your eye or spinach in your teeth? Mm, boy. Oh, spinach in my teeth, probably. Would you rather have to clean a bathroom again or never have to do dishes again? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you ne- have to never clean a bathroom again or never have to do dishes again? Oh, I never have to clean a bathroom again. Okay. Would you rather wear only one color each day or have to wear seven colors every day? That'd be The one color uh, a day would be kind of cool. One color a day. Well, that's pretty much what I do anyway. I, I was saying, I'm, <laughs> look at this. John's wearing a black shirt again. If Imagine I can that. change it up each day, one right. color a day. I have several other fun things here. It's in the, li- or in the uh, show notes if you want to see more of these and kind of play with your friends and ask them, would you rather? It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit right now with Aaron Michael Grant. He is the author of Taking Baghdad, Victory in Iraq with the U.S. Marines. First of all, thank you for your service. Oh, thanks for having me. God bless you. Well, excited to visit with you about this book. This is something that you put together a a little while back, but people who haven't had a chance to read it, it's still available. When did you actually write the book, and when did it come out? Actually, it took me 16 years to write it after the war in 2003. I didn't think I was going to publish it. Uh, But I actually finally published it in 2019 at the exact worst time that something in Wuhan happened way over in China. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I couldn't even get into bookstores to do a book signing at that point. But now it's actually picking up traction after since 
2019. Hallelujah. Well, and, and that's why we wanted to chat today because, again, when this book came out, you know, it came out at a time when it's tough to do book tours, it's tough to do many things, but now all of those things are possible. And if somebody listening is going, hey, I, I like this book, we're going to tell them how they can find it very, very easily. Uh, but let's talk about the book, Taking Baghdad. Let's let's kind of chat about what led up to this book being put together in the first place. Well, I, I took a journal during the war. And in the following years after the war, I almost completely forgot about all of it. Actually, I went home, got an honorable discharge. I wanted to forget about the war. And you know what? I practically did. It wasn't for those journals that I returned to because I was having issues of my own. I, I, I would have never written this book. I opened those journals, and there is still sand on the pages to this day. But uh, I wrote the book, and uh, it took me many, many years, 16 years, with the object in mind of helping out other vets that come home and have to try to, try to readjust. Not, it's not just about me. It's about the entire situation. It's about the, it's about the Bush administration. It's about Saddam Hussein. It's, it's about other units adjacent to me. It's not just about me. It's a whole history of the 03 war. And the, the, when this was written, is it designed for other service members? Is it designed for the general public? Who would you say is kind of the, the primary audience for the book? Actually, you know, I, I'll let my 14-year-old daughter read it. It's uh, every, every category seems to eat it up. I mean, it, it, it's for brand-new enlisted officers in the military. It, it's for civilians that want to understand the military. It's, it's, it really doesn't have a limitation when it comes to an audience, if you ask me. But then again, I could be toot my own horn now. <laughs> well, a- again, you lived this. So this is something that you lived and you know firsthand. But there are probably a lot of people who wonder what – what did happen? You know, what did you guys go through? And and I think that would be a really nice way to peek behind the curtain a little bit and get somewhat of an understanding. We still won't have that firsthand knowledge, but to at least read your account of it, I think would would help us know a lot more. Certainly, and you know, it's it's a hundred percent true. No one told me what I could or could not write, and the FBI hasn't knocked on my door yet. So <laughs> that's good. Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully good. that never happens. That would be that'd be kind of scary, but. Uh, no. So after writing this, first of all, was this your first book you've ever written? Yes, it was. Um, I I didn't want to publish it unless I got it exactly right. And at this point, I think I got myself an A minus. There's still some, some things I could have done, but it, it is my first book, and it won an award, and I was very pleased. And, and nice. It's actually picking up traction, like I said, now after all that uh, COVID craziness. Yeah. Yeah. So do you anticipate any additional books that you want to do, or did you get everything that you had in your mind kind of on, on paper with this one? When it comes to Baghdad and 03, yeah, that, that book is it's a good standaloneer, but at the end it highly suggests I'm going to be making another one. But I am making another book. It's just not about Baghdad. I'm almost finished with it, actually. But oh. It has nothing to do with the military or Baghdad. So it's a whole different kind of project. Well, when you get that one finished and you're ready for the tour, let's chat again. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. And I'm excited to take a peek at this book. Again, it's called Taking Baghdad, Victory in Iraq with the U.S. Marines. It is available right now on uh, Amazon. And there may, if there's a bookstore in your neighborhood that you, you like working with, you can certainly ask them as well. And if they don't have it, they might be able to get it. But I'm going to make it easy for people to find it. I'll throw a link in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com to make it really, really simple. But again, uh, Aaron, thank you so much for your time and thank you for your service, my friend. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for your efforts. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Again, our guest today, Aaron Michael Grant, the author of Taking Baghdad, Victory in Iraq with the U.S. Marines. Like I said, I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dolphins give each other names using their unique vocal whistles. So somehow we know that. I don't know if we really know that, but we think we know that. So that's what the dolphins are up to. Okay. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Losing weight can cause your memory to improve. Oh, uh, that's cool. I, every once in a while, I do that, too. I'm like, oh, hey, I remember what my toes look like now. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's not what they're talking about. I don't think that's what they're talking oh, okay. about. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The inventor of the Frisbee had his ashes turned into a Frisbee so he'd be able to play with his son even when he wasn't around. That's, that's kinda, really strange. It's kind of cool and kind of creepy. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dreamt, D-R-E-A-M-T. I thought there was a P in there, but apparently not. Is the only English word that ends in the letters uh, with the letters M-T. So now I'm going to have to think of others. Huh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? To snurtle means to laugh with snorts. Oh, that's cool. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cats cannot taste sweet flavors. Oh, I feel bad for cats. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of mintervention.com. Uh, question for you, Heidi. 34% of people say they have never cleaned this in their house. What is it? I could see this. I could see never where you wouldn't clean these. This. These. I'll say these. Uh, Something your, in many rooms. Your um, vents. The No. No, none of the. No, it doesn't matter what vent. She was doing hand gestures. I was. And I was going to let you keep work. doing that, but no, yeah. it's uh, curtains. They've never cleaned their curtains. Oh. I could see that because, like, yeah. once you put them up, they're up, and yeah. you're like, oh, why would I need those? Unless, of course, you get blood stains, then you're probably going to want to hide the body first <laughs> before cleaning. The <laughs> cur- okay, we'll move on. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra one hundred and twenty-nine dollars a month in this economy? Every penny counts. So, an extra one hundred and twenty-nine dollars each month would absolutely help. Well, ninety-seven percent of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. This is weird news because it's weird that we even have to have these kind of rules, but YouTube creators now are going to be required to label when realistic-looking videos were made using AI. It's part of a broader effort the company has put out about transparency. Anytime something could confuse or mislead users, it has to let them know that this is not real. This is AI. It's because some of the AI stuff has gotten so realistic-looking. Before, you didn't have to say that because you'd look at it, you're like, well, I can tell that's not real. But now... They've got like face generative AI that can make it look like somebody saying something that they're not really saying. That's concerning, isn't it? It is. Well, the reason that they came out with this rule, they did it at this time. Why, Heidi? What do you think the reason for this particular time in history? What is the reason for this particular time in history? It's because there's an election this year. And they're really concerned with the new AI people could put out videos and, and it would make it look like somebody said something they didn't really say. Well, that happens all the time in the news anyway. It sure does. All right. I've been very disappointed in seeing how the news has skewed a bunch of stuff lately. I'm like, what are you guys doing? There used to be this thing called integrity in the media. Used to be. I'm, and I'm, I'm trying well, to keep in it theory, here. As far as we know, there was well, anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Funniest tweets of the week from women. There's a gentleman that uh, compiles this every week. Do I don't, men not make funny no, tweets? No, I, I don't know why he does just uh, tweets of the week from women, but he he sends it to me. I'm like, ah, it's kind of funny. Uh, how about this one? Bring back old names. Let me meet a toddler named Earl and his best friend, Larry. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I know. It actually is kind of cool. Uh, fridge ice dispenser for when you want some ice in your cup, but also some on the floor. <laughs> every time. Every time. Um, how about this? Yes, I'm interested in Dune too. Dune to others as I would have Dune to me. <laughs> okay. Um, and how about one more? I don't want to rise and grind. I want to stay cozy and mosey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Several funny tweets. Again, I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Why funniest tweets of the week from women? It's funny that I never really even thought, why aren't there some from men? Maybe it's because the men's funny tweets aren't funny. I don't know. It is the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. 
Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Mike Bechtel said, people can't drive you crazy if you don't give them the keys. That's true. That is so very true. I like that. And uh, there are times our son will get all flustered about stuff and he gets all worked up and I'm like, hey, Calm down. Yeah. It's not a big deal. So, uh, again, I think I need to share this quote with him. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, Send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is darn right good news. It comes your way courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. And it's a story from Yellowstone. No, not that Yellowstone. The real Yellowstone. Anonymous donor gift Yellowstone National Park $40 million for employee housing. I don't know who this anonymous donor is, but boy, how cool would it be if it was somebody that was, you know, connected with the TV show Yellowstone? Because I know they did really well using that name. So uh, in a groundbreaking development, the National Park Foundation and the National Park Service have joyously unveiled a monumental $40 million donation aimed at expanding and upgrading employee housing at Yellowstone National Park. It's the nation's inaugural national park. Did you know that was the very first national park? I did not. I did not know know that that now. Well, we both know it now. Uh, Generously provided by anonymous donor. Uh, anonymous donors, it says. The transformative gift will pave the way for the construction of over 70 new state-of-the-art modular units addressing the pressing shortage of affordable housing for employees who are working there. This crucial investment comes at a time when the national parks nationwide grapple with the challenge of providing quality housing for their dedicated workforce. I didn't know that they lived there. Did you know that? Well, I would assume there's rangers that live there. Like, there's, I like at the... F- a lot of the fire stations, there's people that no. live in the fire station. But I don't think they live there. They stay there when they're on duty. I don't think they that's live there. That's what I'm there. saying. They have to, they're in rotation, just oh, like yeah. at the fire station. Oh, that's cool. A uh, $40 million gift is set to fund entirely new housing units, uh, countering the current shortage exacerbated by rising property values and heightened demand for vacation rentals near national parks. So a lot of big words in that story all of a sudden. <laughs> But uh, I think that's really cool. I don't know who donated that money. I can tell you, I know 100% for a fact it was not me. But it was, you know, somebody else. Might have been somebody famous. I don't know. It's a cool story either way. It's a really cool story, It really is. Heidi's looking at me like I'm not. (laughs) Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show.